In the world of suture making, a great thread deserves a great needle. When you think about your day-to-day -day job, not just being making a needle, but really affecting the lives of patients, it just puts your job into a different perspective. In this three-part series, we'll go under the microscope to reveal how Ethicon sutures are actually made and how, through premium needles, advanced packaging and consistent performance, they have become the wound closure product that surgeons trust. This is Beyond Legacy. Today on Beyond Legacy, Beyond the Point. Precision, strength, consistency, quality. These are the hallmarks of Ethicon needles. And their journey to greatness starts here at the Ethicon wire mill where each year the weight of 160 cars in wire is stretched, heated and bathed until it reaches a precise diameter and meets their stringent specifications. Ethicon processes its own wire in order to control the quality as well as the material properties of each needle. Ethicon developed the strongest steel ever made specifically for use on our cardiovascular and plastic surgery lines. For a cardiac surgeon at Everpoint, the fact that we created and worked to develop a tungsten rhenium alloy that provides superior strength. When surgeons pass that repetitively as they're sewing in the valve, the needle doesn't bend. It goes through tissue smoothly with minimal tension. That's a huge difference in some of the highest stake surgery. Now we're down to the wire, as the processed spools are shipped to Ethicon's needle-making facilities around the world. Taper point, spatula, blunt point, cutting edge. What's on your suture? Through coining, grinding, curving and testing, Ethicon produces a wide range of needle geometries designed to meet the highly specific needs of surgeons. Whether it's designed to cut skin or dense tissue, such as tendon, or tapered to pierce and spread tissue, such as coronary arteries, without cutting them, Ethicon needles undergo numerous quality control checks throughout multiple manufacturing processes. Advanced high-speed vision systems constantly monitor tip profiles for accuracy. If there's something that happens to the needle, during the process, the vision system picks it up. Needles that get to the point are curved and rolled and sent for electro-polishing, which strips unwanted material from the needle by dipping them in acid, then adding electricity. The needles are then treated to a lubricious coating for easy, smooth passage through tissue. Ah! Finally, penetration testing confirms superior sharpness and low penetration force, pass after pass. Now, it's time for the needle to meet its match, the thread. A precisely drilled hole is essential for secure attachment to the thread. This is no easy task when you consider how tiny these needles are, roughly three to six times the size of a human hair, requiring a drill about the size of an eyelash. Needles like the Ethicon developed steel alloy Ethaloy need a really strong drill, or in this case, a laser. So when the laser hits the very end of the needle, it's totally focused right there on that one spot. The energy is so great that the metal just melts, basically vaporizes. These lasers make very precise holes in up to, get this, six needles per second, which is an incredible marriage of speed and precision. Once the hole is drilled and deemed up to spec, the suture is inserted into the hole and the needle is crimped onto the thread with custom designed equipment. Pull tests ensure that the thread will remain securely attached to the needle, so surgeons can consistently trust that every pass will be secure. It is a direct and passionate connection to these results that drive the people who make these Ethicon needles every day. You have family and they go through procedures. You don't know if they're using your needle or not. Sometime, you're gonna use it. And it's, uh, <clears throat> yeah. it's good that you do your job producing the best that you can. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Check out the other episodes in Beyond Legacy. 
Until next time.